Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on advanced Fortran programming. Now, in this tutorial, uh, we'll be concentrating on only one single statement, and this sta this time we'll be concentrating on um, that uh, kind statements alone. And here, in this uh, kind statement it will not be simple, rather it will be a little more com little slightly different, a little more complicated, and more of a generic kind of a thing. That kind that meets the need very very s easily, but it may look a little tw twisted. But it's a little it might be it will be very easy to follow. Uh, in the at the at the long run, see uh, the reason why people use kind statements is because they want to uh, is because of only one reason. They want uh, variables to store large number of digits accurately. Okay, this applies to integers as well as real numbers also. The way integers store get the way integer numbers get stored in the memory is by binary, and again the real numbers are also get stored in binary. But the real numbers get stored in binary in di two different formats, uh, in a different entirely different way. The mantis up the digits part gets stored in one uh, one way, stored in a separate binary stuff, and the power part of it gets stored in a separate binary stuff. Suppose uh, all you know in your cal suppose you know that uh, you need for, for your calculations and all you need eight digits of accuracy for your real numbers. Okay, you so you mean to say eight decimal places should be perfect and it should work with should work nicely and all and your range should be uh, between plus or minus say ten power thirty two, as I given and as an example over here. Okay, and you don't know which kind statement to use and all. Okay, and sometimes you might need a. Uh, 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 you know, for some extremely miser m extremely misery cal uh, misery of a calculation. Suppose you might need a 32-bit accuracy. I mean, 32 decimal places of accuracy. Um, I don't know. About, I don't know about you. Uh, for normal calculation, I don't think you need that much accuracy. But maybe for some intensely uh, precise calculations, like you know, uh, sometimes you know, if you're if you're launching a satellite or uh, launching a space way un unmanned vehicle or something you know that l exact location of the target and other stuff might be very very important okay I'm just throwing up some examples here for those kind of things you might have to go break your head and go to a very very precise uh, data storage values data storage value uh, wherein the numbers must process very large amount of uh, accuracy very large number of digits of accuracy say 32 or 33 or something of that sort even more okay but you don't know which kind statement to use okay and that so uh, that's why if you want that kind of jobs to be done uh, fortran comes as fortran comes as a nice savior because of two because of a few functions inbuilt intrinsic functions that are available okay now what i have here is that i have an intrinsic uh, function called a selected underscore real underscore kind and uh, another function selected underscore int underscore kind okay i'll walk you guys through what this function does is that it takes two arguments p and r okay and returns a specific kind of a number a specific number and that number can be used to allocate used to set the kind uh, variable kind the kind of the variables that we want to decide so what does this selected underscore real underscore kind does is that it takes this p value p P st P actually stands for the mi number of minimum uh, minimum precision di minimum precision digits you want. I mean, uh, minimum precision of the number of minimum decimal places you want. So when I said P equals eight, this function will return me a kind of a uh, number the whose real which will have uh, which will have at least eight decimal places of precision. Okay, uh, eight decimal places of precision. And what does R does is that R sets um, the minimum range for the number. Suppose you want uh, your number to be, you know, between plus or minus 10 power 32, and you don't know, uh, you don't know how. I mean, that being the case, okay, uh, all you need to do is set R equals 32. Suppose you want your numbers to be between plus or minus 64, 10 power plus or minus 10 power 64, then R equals 64 will do. Okay, simple as that. And now that is how this uh, you set the kind value for real. Okay, now how do you use this? When you define a real number, and if you want this kind of uh, this kind 
to be set for the real numbers all you have to do is that you set this parameter over here right use this value as the kind value simple as that now once you once you do that this value a will have at here as per this example will have at least eight digits of precision at least eight digits of precision and a range that is 30 that has the power of 32 and so and so these are like minimum range and minimum precision so the fortran compiler will adjust the kind uh, will pick a suitable kind statement that ma makes sure that both of these uh, both of these criteria are met with suppose uh, to met either one of these uh, even uh, sometimes even a higher or higher or level of kind may be chosen such that both these uh, uh, minimum uh, minimum requirement of these two are met with okay similarly selected underscore kind underscore kind takes a number in input no argue no direct uh, uh, variable but da uh, but a number argument and what does what this does is that it returns a specific a specific kind of uh, instruction to int underscore 10 okay int underscore 10 okay which now int underscore 10 can be used to define uh, integers which uh, which can store 10 digits which can which can uh, accommodate at the maximum 10 uh, decent 10 uh, digits uh, 10 digits of integers okay simple as that now how do you use it it's just like how it's uh, how we did over here it's exactly over here and now uh, there's this one more data type uh, for uh, real numbers sometimes you might ca sometimes people call this as a double precision data type now what 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 how it is exactly different from real no big deal this is nothing but uh, real value uh, sorry real value of kind equals 8 simple as that that's the ex that's an alternate alternate expression okay sometimes uh, this is just an alternate naming convention okay double precision okay uh, it, this I think this may not take up a kind variable, but real is more of a generic wherein you can adjust the kind parameter as per your need. Uh, but this double precision is it's a single is a single value. And since it it is a real number of kind eight, and you cannot change the change or play with the kind attribute for this. That's what I heard. Okay, and uh, and uh, there are two number notations for denoting floating num floating numbers. Either you can write the uh, all the decimal places like like this, or else what you can do is that you can write the decimal places, okay, in uh, something in something like a number point something uh, power ten or something like that. To do that, you can use this kind of a notation like this, okay. You can write the number of uh, decimal po uh, number of places before the decimal point, the number of decimal places after the decimal point, and then to pa a pa 10 raised to 10 raised to a power 10 raised to some value. This e is not denotes exponent, not the exponential function exponential function, just an exponent. So this so this number is actually uh, in our writing is actually 2.5241523 uh, times 10 raised to 10. Uh, suppose you want a negative value, 10 raised to my. I mean, if you want a negative power exponent, then 10 raised to minus 10. Simple as that. All right. And uh, sometimes you can write d also. D is actually preferred for using double precision digits. And even if you write this in d, uh, this won't throw any error and all. So, sorry, this won't throw any error and all. So it's not a big deal. So I'm just saying that these are two n naming conventions that are available. You just have to notice. And then let's print the values over here. And uh, out of curiosity, I'm going to print uh, real underscore eight underscore thirty two also. I just want to see what what it does. I haven't checked it yet. So real underscore eight underscore thirty two, and then print um, int underscore underscore 10 okay and underscore 10 <laughs> okay let's print these two also and uh, what I have here is that I'm printing the precision using this precision command and the kind attribute of the variables using kind at kind command so kind function precision function no? and then similarly I'm printing the kind uh, of this 
variable var1 which i've set over here as an integer okay uh, using this kind fun using this kind of function okay now since this is a very short program we can just execute this in genie itself okay let me just reduce this a bit so that you guys can see the, uh, the entire program here this is okay compile this build this and execute this okay okay nice okay what it does is that it prints real underscore 8 underscore th uh, 32 as 8 so what does this mean it means that kind attribute uh, the kind attribute that f that uh, that uh, has a minimum requirement of 8 precision 8 digits of precision and 32 uh, power the power constraints of plus or minus 32 power range of 10 power plus or minus 32 is actually a real number of kind 8 okay only a real number of kind 8 can fit this criteria so real underscore 8 underscore 32 is actually 8 okay and then uh, for integers uh, that fits the category of having 10, di 10 digits properly is an integer of kind 8 so that's why you get 10 under int underscore 10 to be 8 and then the precision of a is 15 precision of a is 15 because this will give uh, because kind 8 will give a minimum of 15 digits of uh, digits of accuracy and since it's kind 8 it's just printing the kind here same as for double precision double precision is exactly the same I told you guys right uh, this is similar this is same as real equals kind 8 so, well this proves it and then finally the value uh, value uh, kind of well, kind for value fun the value is 8 okay just like what we have shown here suppose if you were to you know uh, push the limits and go something like 30 to decimal places meaning uh, a miserably a miserably annoying number miserably long number which which has 32 digits of precision I uh, I don't su I suppose very 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 few people who use this much amount of precision in their calculation and for normal calculations you don't need this much of precision okay uh, very few people use this much okay uh, this being the case let's set uh, let the power be the same let's see how this turns out to be now uh, did I close yeah compile build and execute this huh so you see for a 32 a 32 decimal place accuracy you need a kind you need a real value of kind 16 meaning an integer a, a, a real number that stores 32 uh, that takes third uh, 16 bytes of memory uh, to store itself that's pretty big and this number will give a precision of 33 decimal places 33 decimal places now that's huge really huge okay suppose if I want I'm pushing this suppose if I want to get a 64 digit accurate precision I'm really really pushing this it cannot because it bec uh, because 64 is too much for this compiler to handle see for GNU Fortran to handle it just gives me an error okay here because it it's not able to find it's not able to get a real value it's very hard suppose if I want a 40 let's say even then it's not possible but if, uh, if I give for a 34 it's not possible but a 33 yeah it works for a 33 precise digits and that is actually my friend is a kind 16 so this is the limit of uh, for this GNU Fortran Atom actually it can provide you with real numbers of 16 digit with 16 uh, memory play, memory spaces so this is actually a limit of G4 given photon maybe some other photon function program might have a different kind limit so it's for it's for you guys to decide now that's all I have for you guys in this tutorial the reason why I explain this is very very in great detail and very patiently is because this is of vital importance if you guys going for if you guys are thinking of going for higher digits of pre accuracy precision and accuracy and stuff okay uh, the thing, the fact is, large number of accuracy is but uh, large. Num I mean, uh, going for higher precision is very, very important because it you know, it makes your data very more and more uh, reliable, more and more reliable with less 
routing of a truncation as this okay though at the though at the expense of memory that is but uh, if you just reduce the accuracy your memory arc memory arc if you don't reduce the precision your memory might be less but uh, your answers will be very unreliable and you can see after some time you will lose a very large number of uh, precision digits large number of precise precision digits okay so that's all i have for you guys in this tutorial thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial so take care